Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a huge amount of empties. I have my big basket full, full of empties. I usually don't have this much after one month. So this is like a three, four month worth of empties. I usually only do them on my Danish channel, but in 2018 I thought it would be quite nice to show them on my English channel for you guys as well. Usually I do them monthly, but I have been so busy with school this past half year, so I don't, I didn't have the time. But this time around, I'm going to uh, do them more often, basically. I hope you like long empties because I have a lot. So, Amanda, I hope you're happy. As usual, I'm going to start off with my makeup and I usually have them separated from my other empties because... I don't know, just because. I'm going to take it out of the bag because I'm just annoyed. The first two things I'm going to show you is my makeup sponges. I have two Real Techniques complexion sponges and these are my favorite I have tried so far. And right now I have another one I'm testing out, but I will for sure buy these again. These are amazing if you haven't tried them and they don't cost you anything, basically. Let's just start up with primer. I finished my Benefit The Professional and my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Matte Bank Base. Don't like this L'Oreal one, it's too silicone-y and it's just not holding on to my skin and foundation very well. It does mattify me, but I don't like the silicone-y. Thing. The Benefit Professional, I have found a dupe for it, so I'm going to buy that over this one. But I have used that for years, um, and I have only used the smaller sample because the big sample, the big size, is too expensive for my liking. So I'm pretty excited that I have found the smaller version. A foundation I have finished is my Maybelline Dream Wonder New Foundation. I had this in my Budget Beauties. Most of these have been in Project Pen, so you have seen them before. But I really, really love this foundation, but I don't think I can like buy it again or anything. But I have a kind of a dupe for it in the W7 assortment. So I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, this is gone. I have two uh, concealers. One of them is my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and another one is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. I love them both and I will for sure buy these again. I already have a few backups of this one. For a powder, I have used up my Tease 20 Cosmetics face powder. It sounds stupid, but it takes so long to go through them that I won't be buying it again. And I prefer my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder for my concealer and for my face. So, yeah, I will buy the Essence one over the Tease Cosmetics one. I know for sure that it is way, way cheaper, so that's a plus. I finished up a bronzer. It is my Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. I don't know why I'm looking at it, because I can't see the name anymore. But uh, I finished this one and I'm so excited for it. That is my first bronzer that I have ever finished and I'm so excited about it. I finished off my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer, the blush side. The bronzer I'm just going to throw out, I don't care about that one. This is the shade Turks and Caicos. So this is my first like powder blush I have ever finished, so that is exciting. I finished off my powder highlighter that I have tried to pan this year. Um, this is like... This was like a blush topper, but if you have followed me this year, you know for sure what product that is. I finished off a single eyeshadow I had in my Finish 13 by Saint Lucia and this was like a covery bronze single. I'm very excited about that actually because I don't think I have ever finished a single one a single shadow before. I finished off a cream eyeshadow, my elf cream eyeshadow in pewter and it was this grey shade that you have seen me struggling finishing in my body beauties. I finished off this highlighter from Benefit. It is the What's Up Small Sample Size Highlighter. I have worked on this like the whole year and I'm so excited to have this done. I will not buy the full size or anything. If I get this one, it's okay, but I will never buy the full size of it. I finished off my Benefit Gimme Brown. Really like this, but I will find some other dupes because it's too expensive. I'm very cheap with my makeup unless I have the money to do it. Finished off an eyelash glue. Exciting. <laughs> I finished off a few, um, what are you called? Lip twisters. I finished off two lip liners and they are both from W7. It is the Nude Dude and Nude. 
and they are called lip twister if I didn't say that I can't remember but I love these lip twisters so much and I will always buy these again um, I really like the colors as well. I finished up two mascaras. One is the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara, always a favorite of mine. And this is actually a favorite as well. It is a W7 Very Vegan Mascara. Very, very nice products and I will of course buy those again. So, I finished off two lip balms. The first one is my Benefit Bene Balm. I really, really like this one, but I think there are some cheaper, as good as alternatives from the drugstore which is red and tinted. I finished off my Lisbeth Day lip balm in this part that I have depotted in the video. I'm very sorry I'm going through it this fast, so if you have any questions, please, please let me know because there's so much stuff that is not even funny. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I will answer them gladly. Let's just take some makeup samples. I have my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Grammar. I didn't like this at all. It was silicone-y as well. It didn't do anything for me. I only had one use or something in it. I finished off my Lancome Tint It All Under 24 Hour Wear Foundation. I like this one a lot, but I just... I want to try my shade because it was too dark for me. I finished off a L'Oreal True Match foundation sample in 2C Rose Vanilla. This was too dark for me as well, but I really like this foundation. I've finished one before. I have a perfume sample from Bruno, ba Bruno Banani, not for everybody, dangerous woman perfume sample. I like this okay. <coughs> oh god, I inhale too much. This one though, this is the Dior Deodora Enjoy Eau de Toilette perfume. This one is amazing and very expensive as well. So I will for sure buy this again or have it on my wish list or anything, but really, really good. I finished off some nail polish. I finished my Douglas base and top coat. Really, really love this stuff, but I will not buy again because I need to go to Germany to get it. I have my Essence Quick Dry top coat. Really, really lovely, but I prefer my Douglas one though. I finished off my Gosh Mystical nail polish in this brown color with a purple shift. I finished off finally my Catrice Cosmetics Ultimate Nail Lacquer, the very, very best. So I'm so happy this is not going in into 2018 with me. And my Depend Glitter Nail Polish in like a red one. So very, very happy about these. Um, so that is everything for my makeup empties. Oh, I have one perfume as well, full size. It is the Sexy Me number no. one perfume. Didn't really love this. For the rest of the products in this one, um, again, if you have any questions, but um, so I actually, this is kind of a makeup product. I have it in my yearly empties though. It is my Gush Overnight Primer Oil Essence. This is like a facial oil, but it works as a primer the next day. Um, but this will be so good for dry skin. It doesn't hold up uh, the next day if I don't use a regular primer, uh, just because I'm oily skinned. This is really, really good, but I will not buy it again, just because I don't... It doesn't do its job for me, you know? Um, I have some cleansing wipes. It is from Nivea. It is the cream care ones. These are my favorite. They don't tuck on my skin. They don't irritate my skin or anything. They are kind of expensive for what they are, but they are worth it if you want some cleansing wipes. I have one bag up left and then I, I'm working on some cleansing oils afterwards. So I don't need wipes when I have my cleansing oil. So I have a dry shampoo from something called Belea that is sold in a store called DM. DM uh, in Germany, so if you're ever in Germany, this is a great, great dupe for the Batiste dry shampoo. So yeah, this is one of my favorites if it's not P uh, Batiste. So you will see that again. I have my two shower gels from Yves Rosé that I have panned. I have panned this in a project. It is the exfoliating shower gel and they are both, this is a virtual love shower gel, and they are both with clementine and spices. I hated the smell, but I really, really liked the effect. Um, I really like the effect the most from the exfoliating shower gel, so I will buy those again. But if I ever come across the scent, I will go a big, 
circle around it because I don't like it. This one I loved. It is a body souffle and it is from a brand called M. Assam Cosmetics and it is with rhubarb. This smells heavenly. It is so, so good. Yeah, it's empty, you know, but it's just so good. So I will for sure have this on my wish list to, um, for Christmas, for my birthday. It's so good, so I really, really want any one of those. I'm decluttering this nail polish. I forgot to have that in my makeup entries. It is the Icona Milano nail polish in white. If you have seen my subscription box split collab last year, you would have known my struggle with this one and why I have decluttered it. But basically, it is just awful. It cracks and it's just a white nail polish, you know? If you have panned or used a white nail polish, you know what I mean. They are awful to work with and um, never again. The Neutrogena Visible Clear Pink Grapefruit Cream Wash. I really like this stuff, but I think it broke me out. So that is kind of weird to say, but I love the scent and I really like the consistency of this, but I just think it broke me out, so that's a bummer. But I really, really like Neutrogena as a brand so far. <coughs> I have a nail polish remover from something called Beauty by Sacy or something. This is just something I can buy in my regular drugstore, uh, drugstore for no money, so this is my go-to and it works so good. I have a shampoo from Tresemme. And it is the Color Vibrance Protection for Color Treated Hair. I color my hair, if you don't know, I'm sure you can see. But this is a really, really good shampoo and I really love Trust Me for this shampoo and conditioner, if you are interested. I have my Matas uh, Pomegranate Body Lotion. It is in Danish. I love, 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 love this one. So if you ever come to Denmark and see our local drugstore called Matas and you see this red line, uh, called Granat Able. It is pomegranate. It is awesome. And this is a big size for like 400 milliliters. It is amazing. Balls. So good. I have a Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, like a travel size. I will for sure buy the travel size again. I like the Nivea one just as much and that is cheaper than the Garnier one. So I will just buy the smaller size of the Garnier one when I'm going to travel. Because you can't get the Nivea one in a travel size. This is the only toothpaste I can use. It is the Signal something toothpaste from Germany. Um, and other places, but this is the main toothpaste I can use because uh, I get these small bumps in my mouth if I use Colgate, for example. So this is my go-to and I finished two of those. I finished off uh, the Body Shop Chamomile Simtuous Sim Sim Cleansing Butter. And this is like a cleansing oil just in a balmy version. But if you warm it up in your hands, it turns into an oil. I really, really like this stuff, but I had it too long, so it got really clumpy. Not really, but small clumps in it. But I like cleansing oil itself better than this one, though. I... Oh, what are they called? Cotton rounds? Is that what? Cotton rounds? I don't know. I finished two packages um, at different brand, and you don't know them because they're Danish. So, but I finished two rounds of those, like a hundred pack and a hundred, hundred and fifty pack. I finished my beloved Swatchcuff Glitz Hair Repair Daily Oil Elixir after like two and a half years. So I'm really, really happy to go through to another one. I so dirty. I'm sorry. This is the Kermaju Wild Body Oil that I have panned in my subscription box splits. This is finally gone and I can't wait to use my other massage oils. So this was fine, nothing amazing, but I really, really like this scent. So that would be why I would buy it again, but not right now. I have a lot of oil to go through. I finished a 200 pack of uh, cotton buds, what do you call them? It is a mattifying day cream and it is for, for like um, problem skin, you know? Uh, so it's from Sibamet and I really really like this so I will for sure have this on my wish list because it was quite good. Eye creams and this one is from uh, Rossmann in Germany and it is the Rebel de Loop Hydro Eye Cream thingy. This was fine. And this is the Balance Me Tinted Wonder Eye Cream that I planned this year. Um, I didn't like this one because it was tinted, otherwise it was okay. I finished a pack of uh, Venus Spa Breeze Gillette something's um, 
razor heads with like the soap on it. So these are my favorites. And they come in these smaller packs right here. My favorite of all time. And then I just finished one head of the regular red, one. <laughs> And then I'm throwing out my Sarke Food Detox Cleansing Bar that I've tried to pan this year and failed because it it irritated my eye every time, every time I wanted to use it because it, it would swell up, you know. Bye-bye. So. And then I have some samples right here in the bottom. And firstly, I have two of these uh, rituals, the Ritual of Sakura Rich Mush Nursing body cream. I got this for Christmas for my boyfriend and it is amazing. It smells so good. So if you haven't checked this out, please do. It's amazing. I finished a sample of the Sephora Sewer Supreme Body Butter on my wrist list as well because it's so good. And my Lancome, the Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. It was like a serum, I think. Uh, it was okay. I don't need the extra moisture because I'm oily skinned. But I do like a serum. I just don't think I would like that one. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more empties in the new year, like every month or two months or so, please let me know down below. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any videos. And then I will see you very, very soon. Bye guys!